Today we're making ravioli, but they're gonna double every time we make a new one. So we're gonna start with one and a half inch and work all the way up to over one foot long in ravioli. All right, so we're making pasta right now with 144 eggs. I figure this should be enough dough to get us through all the raviolis from small all the way to that jumbo ravioli. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but based on my egg experience, no pun intended, uh, this should be plenty of dough. So we'll get these cracked, get them separated, turn them into dough, and then we'll start rolling into the small ravioli and work our way up. Three hours later. All right, it's time for the money shot. We got the paparazzi here and everything. This is like egg and pasta ASMR. Also too, I was just thinking if you guys are really into watching me make, you know, fresh egg pasta and learning about different shapes, today we're obviously making raviolis. I think I was just saying that on the next video, I think I'm gonna do like a full on only making pasta, learning how to do different shapes. So stay tuned for that next video. We'll drop that one hopefully after this video. All right, looks like our dough is pretty much good to go. We mixed it really well. We're going to give it a nice little nap. I'll make sure to tuck it in. And uh, while it's resting, we'll go ahead and make our ricotta filling for the raviolis. Good night, my sweet little ball of pasta. Right, so for the filling, it's just gonna be a very basic like ricotta filling, but we're gonna season it up, make it taste good. So we've got the ricotta, We'll do lemon zest, lemon juice, parsley, Parmesan, salt, pepper, olive oil, nothing crazy. Get it mixed up and then get it into the raviolis. All right, so we got everything in here. We'll start mixing it around. And I'm kind of realizing that this might not be the tool for the job, or maybe I just needed a bigger bowl. So we're gonna get rid of that. Let's get in here with our hands. Yeah, this is, your hands are the best tool, so. Now that we have our ricotta filling made, our dough is rested. So this is gonna be the first mold that we're gonna use. And this may look big. I said we're doing small ravioli, but we're only gonna do the center uh, mold in this ravioli. So this is truly gonna be a very, very small ravioli. And then we'll keep doubling it and seeing how big we can really get it. Hopefully it's a giant ravioli bigger than my head. And this is probably gonna be way too much dough anyway for the single ravioli, but we've got a lot of ravioli to make, so I'm sure we'll use it in no time. So as I'm rolling out, not only the pasta for this ravioli, but for all of them, we're gonna make sure to go pretty thin with the dough, just because we, we're gonna have two layers of dough for, for the ravioli. So we wanna make sure it's not too much pasta. And we'll kind of keep that going through the whole uh, series of ravioli here today, of keeping the dough nice and thin so we get a nice, beautiful ravioli. All right, so now that we have our dough sheeted, you can pretty much just see my hand right through it. You can see the table through it. So we know we are at the right uh, thickness. And I also cut off too much pasta just for the single one. I'm used to making more than one tiny ravioli at a time, uh, but that's good. We've got a lot to make so I can use this in the next one. So we'll first take a nice little square here. And that's more than I need, but I want to account for like being able to get in the divot there to make sure that we can get it really filled. Um, and now I'll show you how we're going to fill this and we'll just keep scaling it up. Uh, and it's kind of the same process throughout the whole thing. So nothing really changes. It just gets a lot bigger and a little bit more difficult. First ravioli down, this is definitely the smallest ravioli I've ever made. And we're also gonna make the biggest ravioli I've ever made. So we're gonna get into that now. I'm gonna put this into the freezer just to hold up while we make the rest of these. So enjoy this pasta making content right now. All right, for ravioli number three, um, 
I'm gonna have to make a lot of these by hand without any molds, but I do have this mold. It's a pumpkin mold and it is uh, fall here in Pennsylvania. So we're gonna kind of stay within the season, make a giant pumpkin ravioli. And it's kind of almost a perfect size for uh, ravioli number three. So. So for this one, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because this is kind of full ravioli, but I'm not gonna cut it. So I'm gonna keep it as one big ravioli with four pockets, which we don't have a referee here. I'm the referee and I'm saying it counts. All right, so we're already running out of room on this first tray. So we're gonna move these guys over to a bigger tray. So we have room. Oh my God, I almost broke it for the big boy. All right, so for ravioli number five, we're gonna go with this size here, which I think is, I'd say that's about double from the last one. Uh, I'm gonna use this ring mold here just to kind of set the size of where I'm gonna do the filling. And then we'll do a nice pretty border around the edge and we'll be good to go on to the next one. All right, so for ravioli number six, I had to start kind of getting a little bit creative because I only have so much room to work with and I'm making them by hand. So we're gonna make a long ravioli for this one. It should be kind of fun. I've never done it before. Uh, it's gonna be like a very long rectangle. We'll see how it goes. All right, now I just ran into issue number one. We haven't had any issues yet today, which I'm surprised by, um, but now I need to somehow get this off of the table, onto the tray of flour, into the freezer. Um, so, we're just kinda gonna go for it. All right, so for ravioli number seven, which is I think the final one we're gonna do today, uh, it may not be actually bigger in like diameter and things, but it's gonna be much bigger in filling. And we're also gonna put some egg yolks in the center of the ravioli, which makes for a really, really delicious dish in a nice little, uh, you know, egg ASMR, egg porn action, which is always nice to see. So we're gonna make a little center well here with ricotta. Then we're gonna pour in some egg yolks, top it off with the final sheet of pasta. We'll be good to go and we'll start cooking. So we wanna build a nice little wall of ricotta We'll do it maybe just a little bit on the bottom too, just to kind of protect them. I'm gonna do it very gently. And then we'll do a little bit more ricotta just around it. You don't have to put any on top. I just kind of like to, just to protect it a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and put our top sheet on very gently. It doesn't look the prettiest right now, but we'll get it there, don't worry. And then we'll go ahead and trim it up get it in the freezer just for a couple minutes to set up and then we'll go ahead and cook this bad boy up. All right, another uh, challenge, just like on the last one, we gotta figure out how to get this off. <sighs> Messed it up a little bit, but we can fix it up. That wasn't that bad actually. All right, now that we've made all of our ravioli, starting out very, very small, nice and intricate, all the way up into the giant one, I'm not gonna go ahead and cook all these. You guys have seen me make raviolis before. These, you know how to cook a couple of raviolis. We're gonna cook the giant one that has the egg yolks in it. It may work out, it may not, but I'm gonna bring you along for it anyway and see how it goes. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, it's done. All right, so this is finally the moment of truth. This is the part I'm most nervous about is cooking this, getting it out of the water without it breaking. Uh, we're just gonna go for it. We'll serve it up with a nice little tomato sauce, crack it open and see, uh, see how we did. I am so nervous. Here goes nothing. We don't want like a rolling boil just cause it's so fragile and everything. We want a nice low simmer, let it cook for a couple minutes and then we'll get it back inside. All right, now we're gonna try and carefully get this out without breaking it into the pan with some butter. And we'll go back inside and get this finished. It's looking really good. 
All right, so we're back inside. I got a little bit of butter and pasta water in the pan. And if you can see, we do have a little bit of a uh, crack in the top layer of the dough, which, listen guys, this was our first time doing this. We're still learning. But overall, I think it held up really well. We'll see what it looks like once we cut into it here in just a second. We'll put a little bit of sauce down. Oh, we're gonna fix it guys, we're gonna fix it. A little bit of adjustments, it's hot as shit. But overall, not bad. We're gonna cut into it now and see what it looks like on the center. There should be some nice, runny, creamy egg yolks right in the middle and then all that delicious ricotta. Hit it with just a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, because why not? All right, so we got it on the plate with just some minor casualties, a couple tears there, but overall, nothing a little Parmesan can't cover up. We're gonna cut into it now and see how we did. And honestly, this is lunch. Um, so I can't wait to dig in. Nice runny yolks in the middle there. All right, the yolk is perfect. Let's give it a taste and see. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's really good. Usually you wouldn't do like, um, like a raviolo that has an egg yolk in it. You wouldn't serve it with a tomato sauce. That's all I had. And honestly, the focus today was just making on a lot of different size uh, raviolis. And I think we accomplished that. I'm gonna eat this whole thing now and take a nap. I'll see you guys in the next one.